everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with an impromptu collective sales haul january sales christmas sales haul i wasn't going to do this but then i was just thinking i actually want to film the video so here i am i am sort of currently on a break from filming like you know but i wanted to film it and get it up for you so i think i'm just going to play it by ear even though, like I said, like I am just taking a little bit of time out at the moment for me, just to sort of get myself in the right headspace and things like that. If I want to film and talk about something, like a haul or a book or something, then I'm going to film it and upload it. So, yeah, I hope you're all okay. I hope you've had a good start to the new year. It's been a couple of weeks since you've seen me. And, like I said, it's a collective haul, so I've got quite a bit of clothing actually and then I've got some like beauty and then I've only got a couple of bits for the children so this haul as well normally my hauls in the past have been very focused on the children and what I've got them but this year it's about me <laughs> um I'm trying a not to spend as much money on the children because I tend to go crazy because things accumulate over Christmas or like throughout the year when it comes to their birthdays and Christmas and Second of all, they just don't need anything. P's at school full time. Florence has got all of P's hand-me-downs. They don't need anything. So, I'm just trying to... Is my blusher a little bit off? Oh well, I'm not going to change it. So, I'm going to show you a couple of toys that I got for the children. First of all was this Lego Friends. I don't know what these are called. Are they called the cubes? The squares? It's this one. I got this from Sainsbury's. I don't know whether it was in Argos, but it was definitely, I got it off the shelf in Sainsbury's. I think these are normally £9, and I paid four fifty for this. So I am going to put it away for P for her birthday or Christmas this year. Um, I don't know which one this is. I, is this Andrea? And it's like the swimming pool one. So I got that. I also got another one, which is one that P already had. And I've just got that for like, what is it called? Like friend birthday parties she's got three parties in february so i'm now starting to like buy things for other children so i think it was that one that i got so yeah i got that and then for florence her birthday is on the 19th of march and i'm not too sure whether this will be for her birthday or whether it will be for christmas i need to see sort of where she's at come march at the moment she's obsessed with babies and she's not necessarily into peppa pig but it's inevitable that it's going to happen. Um, so I picked this up. This is the Grandpa Pig's bath time boat. So it's a bath. Is it? Yeah, it's a bath toy. It floats on water. So we've got Grandpa Pig. You've got the boat. You've got Pepper. And I just thought she'd really enjoy it. This, I don't know how much it should have been. I think it should have been maybe about 13, 14 pounds. And this went down to nine pounds. So I just thought it was really good good little thing to have we don't have anything like it don't really have anything similar so i got that for florence and then also for florence i got her the peppa pig advent calendar so this went down did i say that the boat was from argos this was from argos as well this went down i think it was like 15 or 20 pounds full price and then it went down to six which is amazing um i haven't got p like a an expensive advent calendar I don't know if I will. I'll wait and see. I'll see if there's any good deals. I might potentially get her Lego friends if it goes down cheap enough. Um, but she doesn't need it. But again, he never had this one, so we don't have any of the Christmassy figures. And I just thought it'd be good to have. Florence will be approaching three next Christmas. So for six quid, couldn't leave it behind. And that's from Argos. And then the other thing that I'll show you, I've got more things from this shop, but I'm just trying to do the children's stuff first in case you're not interested. Um, I picked P up some new school shoes. So every year in January, I buy school shoes because they go, some of them, the ones that I like, they go down half price, well, more so. So these should have been 14 pounds and they went down to six. And I love the, um, Matalan school shoes I feel like they wear really well they never really get scuffed and I always go for the patent ones we've had non-patent patent that's the right word before and they just get trashed whereas these are really durable I don't like the rainbow on the inside but 
it's the inside of the shoe she'll love it these are a couple of sizes too big i wanted them in the 11 and they didn't have them so i had to buy them in the 13 but she's always going to need school shoes and they were half price so yeah i need to look online actually and see if they've got the 11 and i can maybe click and collect um but yeah bargain really really happy with them and they've got like a it's a faux buckle but actually once it's on the foot it doesn't look that bad it's not some of them are like really silver and that's like a a dark silver so i'll take that and then the rest of the stuff is for me uh, i'm going to show you the first and only book that i got so like i said in what i got for christmas there really aren't that many books currently that I would like. I'm reading a lot on my uh, Kindle. I'm reading a lot on my iPad. I honestly can tell you the last time I picked up a physical book. And this book went down to £4 on Amazon. And it is the final book in the Lee Bardugo Grishaverse shadow and bone series which i'm still yet to read i am going to start that this year but i just thought it's gone down half price i'm just going to pick it up so it's ruin and rising the third book in the series and it's one that i'm going to try and get to but i've now got the complete collection so got that let's talk about amazon stuff actually whilst i'm here so like you would have seen in my vlogmas videos I've been struggling with, um, just life in general, <laughs> I've been struggling with tiredness levels and I don't know whether it's accumulation of being depressed, it's an accumulation of low iron, things like that. I'm on iron tablets but in the meantime I have been taking vitamin B12 which is a couple of you left comments which is why I picked these up. I don't know whether these were in the sale, but they were really good value for money. These were like £6.50, £6.80. They were really, really cheap. 360 tablets, so these will last me the entire year. And the thing with vitamins that you want to do, I used to get my vitamins from Holland and Barrett, and I used to get them when they were on the one penny deal. But looking at the, I don't know what it is. Is it milligrams, MCG? whatever it is it was always really low i used to get biotin which i'll move on to in a minute and they used to be like 500 whereas these are triple double sorry so i've got vitamin b12 and it's the 1100 mcg uh, by zip fit and then i also am taking daily biotin um 10,000 mcg same brand and I'm taking these. These are a little bit more, I think these are the same price but you don't get as much because you only get 180. But these have really worked for me. I know Ellie takes them as well. She takes the chewable gummies, I think, whereas I just take the tablets because I take tablets anyway. So I just put it all in my little tablet case. But I've really noticed, I haven't necessarily noticed thickness yet and it hasn't helped my nails. My nails are really bad at the moment. They're very, very thin and they keep um, peeling. But the, the growth in my hair since I've been taking them I can see it because obviously I have greys now I've got dyed hair I can visibly see how much and how quickly my hair has grown since taking them so I do really recommend them and that's zip fit from Amazon um what else have I got from Amazon I've got some this is a bit weird <laughs> but if you're into journaling then I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about I got some Tombow um jewel brush pens so i have wanted tombow jewel brush pens for a couple of years and i never did it and i don't know again i don't know whether they were in the sale or whether amazon made it look like they were expensive and then slashed it and then gave the new price which was the normal rrp but on the website, I think these are £4 each. And on Amazon, I paid £2.49 per pen. Is it expensive for pens? Yes. But again, this year, I'm just doing things that bring me joy. Because it's been a hard couple of years for all of us. And I've just reached breaking point. And if these pens are going to give me joy, then I'm going to buy the pens. <laughs> um, so I bought these with some Christmas money. 
I will show you, if you're interested, my reading journal for this year. Again, it's a video that I want to do. I'm just, it's just hard to find time because um, I also want to make time for myself and be kind to myself and blah, 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 all of that. But I will sit down and show you my reading journal this year because I'm so happy with it. But I got some pens for it. So I got the 620, which is this really pretty lilac. It's not this colour, it's more this colour. And then, and it was also cheaper to buy them individually than it was in the packs, which is why I did it. So I got the 772, which is a really pretty, like, rose pink. I got the N75. This is my favourite. This is a really nice grey, but it's got, a, it's got a hue of lilac in it. It's really, really pretty. I got the 192, which is like a... asparagus is what it's called but it's not like that at all it's a really nice like sage green and then I got 992 which is it's a bit dark for what I wanted but it's a, just a really nice color so they are the colors of my bullet journal this year and I honestly couldn't be happier so like I said I got the dual brush one so you've got the brush that side these are more for like calligraphy and then I you've got like the normal felt tip the other side so i've got some brush pens and i'm really really happy about it i want to now start my collection which i have done oh, i just realized i forgot another amazon thing i'll go and grab it one other thing that i got are some new gym leggings so these ones were really really affordable they were i think they were like 12 12 39 and then you then got a 15 percent off voucher so I, whenever I wear gym leggings, I all, all of my gym leggings are from Amazon because I know how amazing they are. Even like the cheap ones, they're not see-through. They're so stretchy. And I just love them. They're great. I don't know the brand of these. There's literally nothing on the inside. It doesn't even say what size they are. Um, and they've got the scrunch bun. And then you've got the little detail underneath the bum. And then you've got some sort of like striped detail down the edge. Don't know if you can see that. I love these. I don't have a blue pair. But I also didn't want to go like aqua or like dark blue. This is like a perfect in between for me. And I love them so much. I also got them in the khaki. But again it's more of like a soft khaki as opposed to like in your face. And... Yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. I wear these on the school run. I wear them to work. I prefer gym leggings to jeans. Like, I just live in them with sports socks, trainers, Converse, oversized hoodies. I just, I just love them. Um, so, I got those. And like I said, I got them in the car key, but the car key are in the wash. I'll just go and grab that other thing that I got from Amazon before. And then move on to other stuff. I am back and I've just spilled water over myself. So the final thing I think that I got from Amazon is a new water air essential oil diffuser. I got I got one from TK Maxx and it was a really small one and it was okay initially but then because it was just a USB one, it just kept cutting out. It wasn't the, the best. It didn't have all the settings that these ones have. <coughs> Hang on, let me just grab a drink. I... Yeah, so sorry, as I was saying, they just weren't, it wasn't the best. And I moved that one into the bedroom and then I got a new one for the sitting room. And I kept trying to use the one, the old one in the bedroom and it just wasn't cutting the mustard. So I got a new one. Like I said, this was from Amazon. It was, so inexpensive it was like 13 pounds 70 something and this is the biggest one i've got this is a 500 mil um it's quite hard to take the lid off you don't need to see it with the lid off but it comes with a remote as well which my other one doesn't have and it says intermittent continuous timing big or small and the lights so you've got all the settings you've also got the buttons along the front here you could have got it in the black or you could have had it in the white but i really liked the contrast of the black and the white i think it looks really nice and i love this i use it every single day and i couldn't recommend them enough i am going to get my mum one for christmas this year and i just love it i don't know the brand of it 
the problem with Amazon is that you don't have brands. Well, you do, but you don't. But yeah, I highly recommend these. These are brilliant. I don't feel like you need to spend a fortune on like the neon ones, maybe buy the oils or buy the like the white company oils, but the actual machines themselves, this is fantastic. So I absolutely love that. And it also, like I said, has the, like, you know, the rainbow light that it goes through, but you can also just stop it on one color if you wanted to. So I absolutely love that. One of my favorite purchases that I've made. So I placed an order on Boots. I didn't actually go in on, were the shops open on Boxing Day or the 27th? I can't remember, but I didn't go. I went maybe like a week after because I just did a lot of online shopping this year, to be honest. And I got three gift sets from Boots. So normally I go and I buy for other people and I start my Christmas shopping and I never get myself anything or the things I get are really small and this year I haven't done that this year I've seen stuff that I want and I've bought it for myself normally I put Christmas money into other Christmas presents for other people in the year this year I spent my Christmas money on me <laughs> uh, it feels quite weird to do that but there we are so I got two soap and glory gift sets I've only used one, so I've used this one so far. This is the Soap and Glory, the clean, the clear skincare regime. So this was half price, like all boots things go in, in for. Um, this should have been 20, went down to 10. And in here, I have opened it and I've got the foam cleanser in the bathroom, which I'm not gonna go and get. But it opens up inside, all plastic free. And inside you get the it's got the niacinamide. I didn't actually realise when I ordered it that this is for oily and combination skin. I have dry to combo and mine's been fine with it. I don't use this every single day, but alternating, alter, alternating it with my other skincare, it's fine. So this is Strike a Balance and I've never used the Soap and Glory skincare before, so I wanted to get like a little box set to see how I got on. Um, yeah. I really really like this it's it does smell very it's not a nice it's not an awful smelling skincare but it's not I don't know it, it doesn't smell chemically I can't explain it I think it's because it's got like subtle hints of mint in it it doesn't smell I can't I can't I can't describe it it smells very fresh, but you can get the hint. It smells like spearmint. So I've got that. And then you've got the moisture lotion, which I really, really like. Which is the Fab Pore moisture lotion. And then I've got a sheet mask with lemon balm, lavender and eucalyptus. Maybe that's what the scent is. With willow bark, tea tree and mint. So yeah, it's a very like minty smell. So you've got that, plus you've got the pump there cleanser and you know what i've never had a, a foaming cleanser before and i really really like it so that is my first soap and glory set the second one i haven't actually opened yet and that is the soap and glory it's time to let glow travel kit and in here you've got in the midst of it hydrating jelly mist bright and beautiful beautiful radiance boosting mask Urban Legend Antioxidant SPF 30 Day Cream and Vitamin C Facial Wash. So that's what that looks like. And as you know, if you watch me, I absolutely love Soap and Glory. I use it all the time. I always stock up at Christmas in the sales, whether it be skincare or just body wash in general. And then I then use it throughout the year and then go again at Christmas. And then the final set, I was influenced by my friend Rosie because she got one. I was going to get the one that she got, but then I decided to get this one instead because you get more. I don't know if you get more products, but you get more things to try. And again, that's something that I really want to get into is trying out different skincare and seeing which types I like because I'm very samey and I stick to things that I know work. But also I know that things could sometimes work better. And I know number seven is great. So this should have been 20 and it went down to 10. And in here, I'm going to read it from the back again. You get the Radiance Plus Vitamin C Glow Toner, D3 
the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum, Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream SPF 15, Radiance Plus Daily Energizing Exfoliating Cleanser, that sounds great, and then Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Night Cream and Line Correcting Booster Serum. So you get six products in here. Um, 50 mils, a 5 mil, a 3 mil, and two 25 mils. So you do get quite a lot of product. And for a tenner, for number seven, I'm really happy to pay that. I actually haven't opened it up yet. What does it look like on the inside? Oh, it opens like that. Oh, nice. It's just a nice little, a tr uh, it's not even a trio. I don't know the word for six, but it's just a nice little set to see how I get on. And then next Christmas sales, if I like it, I can buy some more. I have literally got enough skincare now to last me probably my entire life. I just love buying skincare. So, anyone else keep all their stuff in their boxes as well? Am I just a weirdo that just keeps it as it is? Who knows? I'll show you H&M. So I... As you know, I live and breathe Primark. I love it. It's affordable, but it's not the best in the sense of quality. Um, and prices are going up. So when the H&M sale hit, I got myself a couple of bits and I also went into a store and got some. So the first one, this is an online purchase. I wanted it in the medium, but they didn't have it. So I had to get it in the large and it fits and it's oversized. It's probably just not as fitted as a medium would be it's a high neck which again is very unlike me i would never have been able to have worn this pre-surgery because of my boobs and how they suck out so far and then it would have hung i would have looked like an apple up my top and it just wasn't a vibe it didn't look great so actually now being able to go out and buy these things it's still taking me a long time to get used to that. And when I put it on, I'm like, does this look okay? And everyone's like, yeah, it looks great. But because it's not my normal choice, like my comfort go-to is an oversized baggy, baggy hoodie because that's what I enjoy. And I do still enjoy it, but it's nice having the option of looking at and trying different things. So it's this really nice stone color. It's got like, is this called a back wing? I don't know. It looks cropped, but it's not. It's just got really, really like big sleeves. And I love it. I don't know how much I've got. This was an uh, online thing, so it hasn't got the price. I think it should have been. I think it was like $29.99 and I paid $14.99 for this. And I love it. It looks really nice with jeans. It looks nice with leggings, with boots. And one thing that I'm going for at the moment that you'll see throughout the haul is I'm going for more neutral tones. I'm going for things that don't necessarily date. Um, I just want pieces in my wardrobe that are staples that don't age and things like that. Like this will age and I'll hate this in a year or two. But things like this I don't feel like ever really go out of fashion. It's just like a staple piece and that's what I'm going towards. So I got that. And then I also grabbed this. So this is really hard to see. I got this actually physically in the shop. And this is, oh no, you can see the colour. It's like a really, really, really light sage green. And I'm obsessed with it. It should have been £24.99 and it went down to £14. And again, it's sort of the same price as a Primark now, but the quality is just so much better. I found that I've I've had two similar things from Primark cardigans, and the H&M one has trumped it. And I got them at a similar time. So this one is like the sage green, and it's got really dark tortoiseshell buttons. And I just love it. With a black t-shirt or a vest top with jeans, it's a really nice spring cardigan. It's got pockets. And it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I would try it on, but I haven't got a vest top on underneath. And no one needs to see my bra. You've seen enough of that in my breast reduction videos. Um, yeah, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Another cardigan that I picked up was 
it's not the same but it's very similar to the grey one that I got last year but I got a light one whereas this is the dark charcoal grey so this should have been 17.99 went down to 11 they only had extra small and small so I got it in the small however this is oversized I am not a small I'm not a small but this fits me perfectly if not it's got more like excess material I love it it hasn't got pockets but I just think it's such a nice again timeless piece it's simple you can dress it up dress it down wear it with leggings wear it with trousers like jeans I just really like it it's really versatile and I've got it for the spring and I've also got it for autumn winter for next this year still not used to saying this year next year so I've got those and then the final thing that I have got from H&M no it's not I treated myself again online to this shacket and oh my god I love this so much it's so lovely it's really thick it's really soft it's oversized um I got it in the medium and thank god I did I probably could have got the small because it is so large um but I just love I just love it it's this really nice it's light which again I don't normally go for because I struggle to wash light colors <laughs> um but I just think it's so pretty perfect for spring perfect for autumn winter and even summer I just love it it's like this checked tartan detail <coughs> sorry i've got a really really dry throat at the moment i think this should have been 35 and i paid 15 for it it's got pockets i just love it i love the way that it looks on it's really comfy and i just wear that with skinny jeans and a black vest top which is basically my mum uniform and then finally from H&M, again, I got this in store. It's definitely not my normal sort of thing, but I'll get onto that in a minute. This should have been 9 99 and I paid £3 for it. And it is this, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a vest top or it's like a t-shirt, but the sleeves have been cut off. Um, it's got, I don't even know what it says on it greetings from california and it's got like california landmarks on it i just really liked it and the reason why i got this is because i thought i could wear it as a gym top so i don't like gym tops which have like the razorback strappy see a lot of skin tops i'm not that type of person i still like to be quite covered because i don't feel confident Something like this gives me a little bit of more breathing space because obviously it's airy, it's bigger, I got it in medium, um, it's oversized, it covers your bum and it was just perfect for what I needed it for. So I have got that one and like I said £3 is a bargain. Leading on from that, I have got my final section of the haul which is some bits from... Matalan so I went to Matalan and got some gym wear stuff because I have been going to the gym pre-surgery I never would have gone to the gym I probably never would have felt like I could I, I didn't I that's how exactly how I felt I never felt like I could go to the gym because of all the weight that was on my chest if you're new to my channel they removed just short of half a stone off my chest and I just couldn't do it. I was never supported enough in bras, regardless of how much money I spent on sports bras. I felt like my posture's changed so much because obviously the weight's gone. I just really struggled to do exercise. I think a lot of that was mental as well as physical, but again, I'm, I'm working on that at the moment. Um, I used to go to the gym when I was like 18, but I've changed so much in that time and again I was still really conscious when I used to go to the gym anyway I have started going to the gym with Ellie she's had some free passes so I've been going with her and I'm actually now gonna sign up dead I've got all my gym leggings from Amazon and then I've got these little bits from 
Maslin. So the first one should have been £8. It went down to £2.50. And it's just this cream. It's slightly textured. And it is um, slightly see-through. Well, no, it's not even slightly see-through. It is see-through. But with a gym bra on and high-waisted leggings, I'm fine with that. And this will go with the blue. It will go with the black that I've got. And it will go with the khaki. So I just thought it was a nice little thing to have. And then I picked up this top. I swear I got another one. I got a grey one. That's in the car. I can't bother to go and get it, but it's got like a cross back t-shirt. Um, this should have been £8, went down to 5 This is a dry fit. Pff, just hit myself in the face with the um, label. I don't love this, but it goes with my black leggings. So when I was shopping, I was very aware of things that I've got and then buying things that work with what I've got as opposed to going out buying loads of new outfits. And I don't have a dry fit. I've got one from Primark, but I don't really know what what fabric that is um so this is like a pinky one with dark pink stripes on it i mean it's for the gym i'm just gonna sweat in it so i got that and then i got a sort of like a dry fit hoodie and i really really like this so i don't know whether i would necessarily wear it whilst i'm in the gym probably like doing legs but actually arms and stuff and treadmill probably not but this should have been 16 and it went down to nine and like I said I got it in the XL did I say I got it in the XL I tried on the large and as it fit and it was fine but I just wanted something a little bit more oversized so it just it hung nicer and again it's just what I'm used to I wear oversized things all the time because it's just what I've worn pretty much my entire life and it's what I feel comfortable in so um, yeah, I got this and whether I wear it just to and from the gym, it's got a pocket and I just really like it. I really like the texture and the feeling. It's, I don't really know what it is. Hang on. Does it actually say in the wash label? 90, 80% polyester, 13% rayon, 7% elastine. So yeah, I got that and I really, really like that. And then finally, finishing off the haul, a very random purchase. And you know what? I ripped the piss out of Ellie when we went to the gym. And she was like, oh, I've got some gloves. I was like, why the fuck have you got gloves? And then we did an arm workout and I borrowed her gloves because when you lift weights and stuff, you get like calluses on your hands. And I have dry hands anyway. And so I took the piss out of her and then I ended up buying myself some training gloves so these basically have like supports where you would hold weights and it just helps protect your hands so these are from nike but these were actually from argos and these were half price i think they should have been 14 pounds 13 pounds and i paid 6.99 for them so i really took the piss out of ellie and i said that she was like nessa from gavin and stacy with her weird gloves but actually and they're game changing and I love them and I can't wait to use them myself because um, I borrowed hers last time. So that is everything that I have got in the sales. I feel like I've done really, really well. Um, yeah, I, I love everything that I've got and I hope you do too. I hope you had a really nice Christmas. I hope you got some good stuff in the sales. I didn't, like I said, I didn't really go mad in like lots of shops and just got things that I needed and wanted um and yeah I am gonna go I hope you all enjoyed this video like I said I I don't know when I'm going to be back I'm not putting pressure on myself I will be back as and when I can and as and when I feel like it like I said I'm just working on me at the moment whether it be taking time out to go to the gym I can't explain to you how much I enjoy it. Just being able to go, whether I go on my own or whether I go with Ellie, just being able to go and do a workout in the evening after a stressful day, go and have a swim and then come home and say to Neil, like, I've actually had a really nice evening. Um, I'm making myself a priority this year and I feel like a lot of people are. I think after the last couple of years we've all had, not even as a nation, but as the whole world 
normally you put yourself last as a mum anyway but then with everything that went on with last year and the year before with homeschooling and becoming a new mum to Florence and things like that I have put myself so far down on the pecking list and it really affected me and now just taking that time and being a bit selfish as much as it hurts and it feels like I'm doing the wrong thing because I don't normally do that it is the right thing and I still get mum guilt like when I sometimes go out to the gym I still get mum guilt of course I do because that's just programmed in me now to not be selfish but actually it's gonna make me better in the long run and then make me a better mum so yeah I don't really know where I was going with that just self-care looking after myself reading journaling going to the gym spending time with loved ones and just being more aware I think of myself um and I think everyone needs to do it because how I felt in the last two or three weeks has been it, I haven't felt like that in a really long time so I hope you're all okay um I will be back like I said as and when I do want to film book content so I'll be back doing that at some point but I'm not gonna put pressure on myself um but yeah let me know what you got in the sales let me know if you've used skincare let me know um just what you got how you are and I'll see you all in my next video bye